All right, real quickly, we're going to go over um, a likely cause of when you receive your Benz injection, injection pump, you install it, time it, and you start cranking, and you don't get any fuel out of um, these. These are your lines that go to your injectors, so you'll crank, it's not starting, you'll wonder why, you'll take these off, and you won't see any fuel coming out of any of them. And you're not getting any smoke out the exhaust either. This is the first thing you want to check. It's checking the rack plate, okay? This is your rack plate cover. So we're just going to remove it. It's going to have a couple bolts on it, real easy like that. When you take it off, this in here is the rack. And this is what you want to see. If you have an ALDA installed, which is this up here, the ALDA is going to limit rack travel from... If you use these as, uh, this is your center point, these little dots up here, your rack is gonna be about right here and it should be able to go all the way back. It won't be able to go all the way forward like a stock injection pump that doesn't have an external aldo. That is normal, but all you wanna do is make sure that you can wiggle your rack like this and that it's staying forward like this, okay? It needs to be from about the middle point forward. You don't need to adjust anything. Don't. You know, don't turn these and throw off all the calibration. All you want to do is make sure that your pump can wiggle like this because usually what the cause is, is the rack will be stuck like this all the way back. And what that is, is if you were to want to shut your engine off with the shutoff lever, you turn this and you can see it pulls the rack back and that's what cuts off fuel. So in shipping, it gets, you know, kind of banged around for whatever reason and this it's stuck like this and that's not going to have any fuel flowing it, your engine will never start like this that's how it shuts off as we explained so what you want to do is just move it make sure you can wiggle it like this maybe it's stuck like this and all it took was you getting a screwdriver and prying it like this forward a little bit and then after it's in this position you can go ahead and try to start the engine again crank and it will start another thing that is common is these can often fall off in shipping, okay? And we'll pull one off real quick so you can see kind of what that looks like. Um, there you go. So when you take this cover off, you wanna look and make sure that all of them are on the rack like this. And if you see one of them that fell off, cause sometimes when it'll fall off, what'll happen is it'll jam it to where the rack is stuck in a position, okay? So you want to just gently pry this back into place like this and make sure that it has wiggle room and that's it. You want to have the rack forward that way about middle point. Don't worry about anything else. As long as it's like this, you don't have a problem with your rack. And if you're not getting it to start, um, a easy solution is to do a couple quick sprays of starter fluid because often what happens is it's just so full of air and you're not Either you're not spinning fast enough or your lift pump, whether it's a mechanical one or a, a, it's very uncommon with a electric lift pump, but it's just not supplying enough fuel. And so by doing a couple quick sprays of starter fluid, and I mean quick, you want to go, ch -ch, that's it. Crank it, do another one while it's cranking, ch -ch, and that'll kind of help the engine sputter and try to start. And then usually you'll be good after that. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.